Welcome back everybody to another Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition video. Toreas here with another casted game, this time between Kevin and Gigi Revnek. I assume that most of you guys know Gigi Revnek because he was leading the ladder for quite a time before he got kicked um, off from the throne by Kaiser Klein again. And he is currently on rank 22 and his opponent Kevin is on rank 33. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, we are seeing the Ottoman here on the north in blue, played by Kevin. And Gigi Revnak is playing the Halsa here in the south. And we have a trade route from the north to the west and with four trading posts. And then... Uh, the Ottoman is going for three wheels on food and three wheels on wood. And he is building up a trading post to start off. And on the other side we see Gigi Revnek building up a granary to herd in his elks. And then he is very beautiful explorer here. Um, is searching for treasures. And then we have also two native settlements. Here the Klamath settlement and here the Nutka settlement. And then for the Ottoman player, um, the mosque is going up. And um, yeah. Now he's switching his three villagers from wood to, or to also gather food from the elks. And... Let's see what he's choosing for his deck. He chose 1v1 and he's starting off with 3 settlers. And then he also has the Silk Road to improve his trading posts. And then in H2 we see a lot of um, resource shipments. And then 5 Janissaries, 3 Hussars and also 2 artillery upgrades. And especially here light artillery hit points for his Abyss Guns. And here also two resource cards, wood and coin. And then in H4, we have two factories and the two great bombards. So let's check out what Ravnak has in his deck. Oh, surprisingly, he doesn't have any cards in H4. But he has some interesting cards here in H1. He's starting off with Emir of Katsina. So he gets another explorer. And he gets a Hausa Builder and a Senga Kettle to start off. Also a very good card. Then he has the card Qs to improve his food production. And we see the Berber. Berber Allies here. Air Berber card. And also the Mercenary upgrade. The Sahelian Kingdoms where his native warriors and outlaws and mercenaries get more hit points and damage. 10%. And he's also having a few boats in his deck here. We will see if he will try to use them. See a little explorer fight here for this 95 wood treasure. They are fighting it off. And at the same time, um, Ravnak is planning to build up a trading post by himself. And they are just... Keep fighting and now the second Emir is coming in to get uh, an advantage. And uh, let's see what the Ottoman player is doing at the moment. He's going for more wood and he's also sending in the Silk Road upgrade. So he's really focusing on the trade route here. Um, he definitely will uh, cause a later age of time but we will see how it works out both explorers here getting low on hp here and we see a steal here yeah successfully stolen the treasure here And 
And the second trading post is going up for Kevin. The two camels here roaming around the map. One is getting some more treasures, and the other one is building up a trading post. So, both of these players um, will have two trading posts in a second. And also, Ravnak is going for kind of a trading post um, build because he's also with nine villagers on wood. He's upgrading the hardened iron axes. The explorers can't um, keep off from each other. They keep fighting. And this one is probably going down here. Yes, take care. One more hit and he's down. There he goes. Could have been a little more careful about it. But so in this this case he Yeah gave him a 45 XP um surprise. And now we see Gigi Ravak going up with the Moroccans and now sending in the Hausa Kingdom. As I showed in one of uh, my previous videos. So this is important to get the two um builders with the one university builder and the one trade builder um, so that you are reaching h2 before the settle the, the shipment comes in so you get those two builders here and the barrack is going up here kind of forward and the mosque is up here and the war camp is being built here we see those two uh, the one university builder and the trade builder and because he already has two trading posts up he's going for the nutka settlement and the ottoman explorer is going down But also the second Emir from the Hausa went down. And he's sending in the four villagers now. So you went this card and this and now the four villagers. Let's check Kevin. He's sending in coin right now. Before he also sent in wood and five villagers. I guess he, he stopped his Silk Road um, shipment before and a few janissaries are burning down the trading post here and we see two raiders going up here trying to pick up this free settler here and it's going down yes trading post here with the native settlement is also up yeah but uh, he has to pay with uh, influence for it so but he um, he will see if he tr uh, considers producing them because he has obviously good um, other possibilities let's see what he's sending in next He's going for the Lefidi Knights. So this is also a very interesting shipment. So and with this card you enable the Lefidi Knights to be produced in the Commerce Age. These very very good cavalry units. Very um, high HP cavalry units. Here we see a little fight between the Fulani Archers and the Janissary and the Abyss Guns. And they're not committing to fight each other for now. 
I guess GG Ravenak is waiting for his Lefidi. And he's also researching laser mines at the same time. And producing villagers. Let's switch over to Kevin again. And he's sending in food right now. So he's going for lots of resource cards here to start off. And the Ottoman player now has quite a mess already. We have minute seven or minute eight. The scores are quite even at the moment. Let's see if they are committing. Pulani archers are obviously good against the Janissaries, but the Abyss guns um, are good against Fulanis here. Because they do siege damage and they don't have a siege resistance. So, But here we have to pay attention because he's sending in the... Um, Lefidi Knights to the Janissaries, but the Janissaries are good in in melee mode against cavalry, so he's losing his um, very important Lefidi Knights here. Um, yeah, they're going down. More Lefidi Knights here. He's chasing Kevin away. Kevin is making uh, doing a great job here. Working with his Janissaries in melee mode to keep those frightening Lefidi Knights away. We also see some spearmen. You see how good they, these Janissaries are doing against the Lefidi Knight here. Um, impressive stuff here. In my opinion, it was a kind of a waste here with the Lefidi Knights, but uh, I guess he had no other chance at the moment. But uh, I would have tried to save them for later, but uh, yeah. Still an even um, fight here, or it ended even. Let's check out the Ottoman player here. He's with 13 villagers on coin and 12 on food. And picking up his sheep here. And then we see some raiders from Ravenak. Going through the middle here. And Ravenak is uh, now 1k um, in the lead with the scores. And the raiders are coming in here to pick some villagers up, but uh, Kevin is doing a good, good job uh, saving them and also let the villagers walk through this alley here. Five Janissary came out of the barrack here. And Revening is trying to pick up a few villagers, but now is committing again to fight against these melee um, Janissaries. And also the Raiders are not good against them because they have also a multiplier 0 0.6, so they have less, so maybe around 10 or 11. But he's now deciding to back off. He's leaving his uh, villagers very exposed here. He's collecting food from the elks here. But he has to take care that the closed barrack doesn't spawn any janissaries to the. Um, yeah. And now he's chasing the janissaries. But more Janissaries here from the side. And I'm sure they go in melee mode in a second again. 
but Revnak is running away. Now we see some dervishes coming in. Also, javelin riders come in. The Sudanese dervishes uh, is a very special unit. They have ranged attack, but uh, it counts as melee attack. But it's not the best against Janissary because they have 20% melee resist. Here we see javelin riders coming up. And he's attacking them straight away. The dervishes are doing good damage here. Yeah, very strong unit. Well, I take it back. They have a multiplier against heavy infantry. So they are doing very good against these Janissaries. And now the Hausa player is sending in the Gananchi. Um, he with the Akans. And um, yeah, Ravnik is going towards the base of Kevin here. And Kevin is building up another barrack in his base so he can maintain his Janissary production because this one here is very low in HP. few hussars are being annoying here and kill a villager there but one hussar is killed here and Revenant is obviously looking for some villagers that he can kill but no villagers are here most of the villagers are here on the side but uh, very exposed 20 villagers here on the side is to um, yeah, save them. Pay attention to it. Yeah, it's really like cat and cat and mouse here. Um, Revenant is chasing around heaven and looking for any free kills. Personally, he's not finding them so far. Now five spies come in now. And he's losing some units here because of the damage of the town center. And yeah, very exposed villagers here. Um, if GG Ravnak finds them, it's going to be over. I'm telling you that. Also, the artillery foundry is going down. And now he's right-clicking the town center. But the spies come out and run away. And Ravnak is chasing them now. And a few hussars are doing damage here again to the villagers. But a few raiders come to save them with the Akans. Now we see how they chase his Fahis. Yeah, Revan is uh, holding up the pressure very good. Um, Kevin has constantly to do something about it and to react to um, save his villagers, put them out again. And these fights are a little bit faster than the Lefigi Knights. So I think he manages to get away with it. Here still the three Hussars doing good damage and killing another villager here. 
now we see first Nutka club man coming out good against cavalry as well Here, the Spahis come to the base from the Hausa. But he's constantly um, getting some damage and he's using his faster um, Emir to slow them down. Very good play here. And then the rest of his army is burning down the, down the mosque from the Ottoman here. Here we see these hussars being so annoying and I'm sure they have uh, killed around five or six settlers by this time. And now they are fighting against each other. And I think Kevin is losing his spies here. Check out here on the top is another fight going on. The, the Fidinites take on the Janissaries. And now a few uh, raiders have finally found those villagers from Kevin and they are killing a lot of them yeah this is very bad for Kevin here I don't know if he if he realizes yet but he Kevin is being attacked on all sides here at his town center and there it is um game over for Kevin he resigned um crazy Um, very very interesting game here and also that we have seen here this uh, fight over these trading posts and of course those those uh, settlers up here very sad to see that they get picked up by these um, furious raiders and calling it a, a game now yeah thank you very much for watching guys and see you guys in the next video bye